up, boys and girls? Chef PV here, uh, Zero Ground FPV. Uh, we have the Turbo Mock Drones Rana 220-3 on the board. And what we're going to do is we wanted to just kind of answer a couple of quick questions that a lot of new users have when they build their first quad and they fire it up on the bench without your props on. Take your props off anytime it's on the bench ready to get powered up, USB or anything. Even I make mistakes earlier this week. I dang near took off my face with it sitting right here because I forgot that a battery was plugged in and I went to the motors tab and moved some tabs around. Um, so anybody can make that mistake. I finally did. Props off, props off. Okay, so what happens is everybody gets everything built up. They put air mode on or they don't put air mode on or whatever it is. Then they throw it on the bench and they fire it up with their radio and they start seeing that the motors are doing different things. So I just wanted to help answer questions with a video where people can search it and where I can just link it whenever this question comes up and not have to worry about having to explain, you know, uh, multiple times. So we'll power up here. So that's multi-shot in case anybody's wondering. Um, so we're going to go into the motors tab on oh, over here. Sorry. We're going to go into the motors tab and in the motors tab, we can double check that all of our motors spin up. We're checking the direction. Obviously, they spin inward. Yep. All right. So you've done that. You double check that. You double check that motor one, motor two, motor three, motor four. Now, a little tip: click on the 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 slider dot, and you can actually use your keyboard to move all of them, or just individual ones. And we'll see that these things start. At about 10.56, they start spinning smooth, so that's good. So they're in sync. Good to, good to go. Turn the tab off. Now, this is where guys get confused because they've tested everything. And they're like, hey, everything works, all that. But when I take my radio and I arm it, and then I give it a little bit of throttle, you hear it spooling, and then it wants to continue to spool faster and faster. That's normal, guys. That is your PID controller on your flight controller not understanding why it's not taking off. So it's compensating and attempting to give it more power to take off because it knows it's supposed to be taking off right now. Now, the way that you really can tell if this thing is hooked up and everything is functioning right, the easiest way, have it armed, throttle down, and move the stick. So go ahead and roll or pitch. You should hear those motors move and see them on the screen. So I'll show you that. So on the screen, you see those motors spool up that the side I'm moving to. I'm pitching backwards. I'm pitching forward. And then when you yaw, you'll actually see this thing yaw on the table the way that you want it to yaw. So if all of that's right, guys, don't worry about anything. I mean, throw some props on it off the bench and go fly. Um... The last thing I will explain is what air mode actually does. So air mode scares people, I think, because they get a lot of information based off of kind of last year when air mode came out. Um, air mode, when it first came out, was on a switch, and it wasn't really integrated into the, fir the firmware 100% the same way that it is now. Um, air mode is basically a standard. What you want to do is on your main tab um, – go in and just enable air mode right here permanently. And what that does is um, that will enable air mode to a point to where it will come on every time you power the copter on and throttle up past 1350. After 1350, air mode will kick in, and then when you go ahead and drop throttle, the PID controller will contain or maintain um, air mode for you to where you have much more resolution with zero throttle. So... Don't be afraid of it. You can land with it. Now, air mode doesn't like to be slammed down to the ground, but even then, these days with Betaflight 3.0, 301, and all that, um, it doesn't bop up and down or you know jump up in the air really high the way it used to. So don't be afraid of air mode. Air mode is good. Enable it before you do anything. Make sure you get your ESCs and your uh, motors calibrated and set up right. Check them. And throw some props on it and go fly it. But like I said, if you're worried about it, throw it on the bench and watch it move in the motors tab. And that's how you'll know that everything is right. Okay? Fly safe, fly smart, guys. Just fly. Hope I help.